I would like to uh, make a short comment regarding our dear friend Christiana Kalogiru, who is here with us. According, I, I think that you should all know, Christiana was former the Secretary General of the Angela Policy. I had the pleasure to meet her 10 years ago when she was still the head of the region of the North Aegean. In Hills and Lesbos and whenever we have met, Christiana has been always by our side. She is supporter of the chambers. We really love her and I wish her to always to be energetic and to be able to serve her country as she does. You know, as presidents of chambers, they, so we still have a different course based on our background and we give a different direction based on our knowledge to our chamber, chambers. My friend Vasilis Yayakos put an emphasis to the agricultural sector and uh, there is an agri-food and business sector in this chamber and we don't have in, this other, in the other chambers. Our priorities in Magnesia lie on the touristic sector and during my um, time as a president, we have relaunched the touristic department. And you know that uh, tourism gives an added value to Magnesia and to our local GDP, and therefore to the national GDP. What we try to do as chambers is to find a way to combine primary sector with scientific research. We have listened very carefully all the professors, both yesterday and today. And we try to convey it to the processing uh, branch and that how it can, this how could this added value um, pass to the uh, commerce and the exports. So, according to the report of the OECD regarding uh, agricultural perspectives, the demands on agricultural products will stay uh, high due to the uh, situation despite the low rate of uh, growth, the extra demand for most of these products will continue to be important, uh, as we have listened in the morning by the previous speakers, and the largest part of the extra demand will come from China, India and Sub-Saharan Africa. So given this new reality, the new conditions of competition focus on the best possible way of utilizing the great chances of digitalization by avoiding threats for specific jobs and for specific countries, regions and people that might not be able to invest and utilize digitalization. That will demand a better international collaboration than we have today. In a lot of countries, uh, they will also need um, bigger investments in the collaboration between the private and private and the public and private sector when it comes to digital infrastructure and training and education more than uh, we have today. So the current conditions make us to abandon the traditional model of farming and uh, we should follow our farming better, we should monitor them better in order to make better decisions, introducing technologies that will play an important role to the farming of your, the future, such as artificial intelligence and robotics. Unfortunately, digital transition, as it happens in the other branches of the Greek economy, seems like a very difficult echo, uh, effort. Sometimes it seems unrealistic since the small agricultural businesses cannot uh, come up to the know-how and the great cost of this transition. 
so the organization of businesses in groups or clusters of businessmen or farmers could be a possible solution, if not the only way, in order to be able to come up to the increased cost of investment or to find a good funding and financing. However, the most important thing is not only find financing, having access to financing, but being able to invest in new innovative products and processes that will allow them to have a lower cost and become competitive on an international level. At this effort, they should be supported by the academia, which will be their ally that will point them to innovative and smart solutions, but also the state itself that should uh, take care to support them at the, every stage of their business cycle, starting from the research, the production, the standardization, and also support the uh, experts. Now, when it comes to access to funding, the new funding programs should leave behind the red tape distortions from the past and using simpler, we all know what Greek ta red tape is all about, and using more simple processes to contribute to the better reimbursement and the better support of businesses. The agro-food joint ventures and the agro-food centers have been uh, initiatives towards the right direction, however, they should be adapted to the new demands and they should be uh, aided by new institutions such as a digital innovation hub for uh, agricultural businesses on Thessaly. And I'm sure that we will need the support of the region because without the region uh, we cannot do anything at all. Therefore, uh, at this effort, uh, chambers cannot uh, stay still. More especially, chambers should, in collaboration with Enterprise Greece and the embassies, to reinforce the exports of the agri-food businesses through their participation in international fora, in their participation in business um, missions. They should help them promote their uh, work in B2B electronic platforms and to organize educational and training seminars in order to interconnect and to bring together buyers and purchasers and um, farmers. You know that all uh, institutions have internal issues and even if for the first three years in the chamber we had some issues, uh, but thank God we have overcame them, I would like to say that when we started helping the small processing businesses to uh, invite them to come to the expos with us, they did not trust us. We had to drag them, so to say, out of their shop. They couldn't believe that the chamber can really help them and support them because it was the first time in history, in most of the cases, they didn't have that support. Because, as you may know, those of you who are older, they have combined expos with field trips, not only field trips for the elected officials, but also of the, uh, of the officials uh, from the municipality and the government. So we told them the following, come here and we will support you to start being open, start presenting your products abroad, because they couldn't do that by themselves, they didn't have the financial means, and we helped them uh, as we have promised. And 10 years later, we are proud, since our local products right now, they uh, are very popular abroad. Small businesses approach us uh, when they want to export their products in order to find support and promote the products in the uh, markets in the best possible way. We have been at the Expo of Nanuka recently when we enjoyed the support of the region of Thessaly and would like to thank them very much. And uh, the region helped not only the products of Magnesia but also the products of Laris and of other areas and we uh, helped uh, businessmen uh, uh, promote the products and uh, 
close agreements and we want to see how we are going to help the primary sector and help them uh, make contacts, uh, B2B contacts to the uh, halls of expos, but also to accompany them to business missions in order to bring about substantial results. The Chamber of Magnesia dared to uh, organize four years ago a conference uh, or a seminar, if you wish, uh, on winery. We invited uh, distinguished guests uh, from Italy and we are, we are able to learn from their experience since they are experts in wine. Uh, Italians and French, but this should not stop. The Chamber is making the first step and then businesses should support them with their own means and believe in that effort. There is uh, a lot of room for improvement and um, we, uh, and I'm not mentioning of course Mr. Tsililis, we uh, also kind of dragged the winemakers with us to come to the seminar and listen to those people who are the experts on that sector. And which was the answer? Uh, allow me this parenthesis. They told us that we, in Italy, we should have less labels. You, in Greece, you need to create new labels, new products, because you don't have brands and labels and you need more. We should uh, reduce them because we have a lot of and our products get lost. And this is just a simple advice. A lot of steps should uh, be made forward. However, we are here by your side to help you and to help all of us together, our country, move forward. So it is such a pity, Chris, with all those uh, climate benefits uh, to fail to adapt to this new needs and reinforce its competitive place that according to the uh, data of the European Union it ranks eighth when it comes to its uh, contribution to the agricultural industry to the total um, agricultural production of the European Union for 2020. Altogether we can contribute to the upgrade our agri-food sector and to uh, meet the increasing needs always uh, trying to create a better future for our kids always uh, bearing in mind the principles of safety sustainable development and environmental protection thank you very much